Okay, let me talk to you briefly about punching. And actually, when I say punching, I'm going to go right kind of back on that and, and, and talk really specifically about the fist. Um, so what we tend to do when we are concentrating early on in stage combat is we tend to put a lot of hard work into what we are doing, which is great. Hard work is great, don't get me wrong, if you practice something, if you develop those skills, you will later find that you, what you were able to do um, is much more productive, is much more developed. However, hard work, hard kind of thought, sometimes early on translates into tension. So if you take a look at my hand here, if I close that up and really squeeze it, you can even sort of see the skin start to change colour. And if I give it a little prod, that's all all kind of the flesh there is quite kind of rigid um, and, and immovable. You can kind of see the muscle in my arm tensing up. Now that tension translates itself into um, restriction all the way up the arm. So the t more tense that hand is, OK, um, the the more restricted the movement is because the muscles are tensing up as they go all the way up. And actually often, particularly if we're really focused, really concentrating, maybe starting to get quite tired as well if we're doing a lot of stage combat in one day or over the course of a few days, that tension will build and it will spread all the way out throughout our body. Stage combat is something that we, again, we focus on. We tend to get quite um, stressed about when we when we first come to performing it. There's a lot at stake, seemingly, a lot to remember, um, a lot of expectation from the audience. So there's already a real potential for tension throughout out the body there so if we're tensing our fists up that's going to immediately make that situation much worse if i release that if i give it a little wiggle okay and you can do this by giving your hand a little shake out getting it nice and loose if i give it a nice loose kind of open kind of feel to it and then gently roll the fingers in hopefully you can see the difference there between that tension and that kind of relaxed hand and this is what i'm always looking for a relaxed hand like that with think thumb tucked in you'll have heard people talk about um thumbs needing to be tucked in so they don't get caught okay on things which is just practical a practical um safety point whether you're learning a martial art whether you're doing stage combat if someone's wearing a costume and your thumb gets caught in it um it's a, it's a really kind of unfortunate way to damage yourself you don't need to damage yourself at all but that's uh particularly tragic um Thumb underneath, again, you may well be familiar with this, thumb underneath, if it does make contact with something accidentally, or even if there's just a lot of tension there, again, there's a real... Um there's a real potential for damaging the um, the thumb or the joint around the thumb. Um, so nice, loose, relaxed hand. Now, what that does is it, it kind of encourages the rest of me to be relaxed as well. It relaxes the arms, it relaxes the shoulders, and that gives me freedom of movement. The more tense you are um, naturally or the more tension you are bringing to your fight work, the harder it will be to move. It doesn't mean you won't be able to move at all, but your muscles are working harder. Everything is working harder. You will get tired out more easily. You will um, find it easier to injure yourself or make yourself sore. And actually what you get in return for that is limited. The more relaxed you are, the more open you are, the more you can move, the more you can shift, the more you can kind of use every single little element, every joint, every muscle, every kind of tendon, every ligament in your body to its maximum potential. We want our body to be working for us, working with us. We don't want to be fighting against our own body. That's kind of really counterproductive. So nice kind of light, relaxed um, fist is, is what I'm looking for. I even talk to people when they first start almost being able to look through the um look through the kind of middle of that maybe not kind of in, in in a completely literal sense that's maybe too much but if you kind of start like that and then gradually kind of close it in it takes us away from this yeah and the other part of this as well is this is this is the kind of weapon if we um if we tense our hand up like that when it makes contact with something that's a really kind of hard um kind of again a kind of rigid sort of immovable kind of contact Obviously, we are always, always looking to put anything in place uh, to do with distance, communication, kind of physicality, anything we can put in place to protect people from accidental contact. If accidental contact were to happen, however, much better that it happens with a relaxed hand than it does a, a kind of really tense, kind of rigid fist. Um, we, we want to be able to make choices. OK, so this is, yes, it's stage combat. Yes, it's informed at times by historical sword fighting, uh, sword fighting or, or other styles of fighting. Yes, it's sometimes um, inspired by martial arts, but it's acting. OK, uh, as I said, in another video about stage combat as language is a language. It's about acting. That is the crucial stuff, being able to use our body to kind of maximise on that physical 
storytelling, being able to adopt all the other stuff that we learn in other kind of elements of acting and bring it back into stage combat. So it's not this sort of strange kind of distant mystical kind of martial art idea. It's a, it's a real kind of living, breathing dialogue that we are, um, that we are able to act, that we're able to kind of put all our kind of idea about action or objective or kind of, or kind of whatever um, kind of, uh, a kind of style of acting you're kind of working from. We can put that all in place and we can make it effective. So nice relaxed body. We want to be able to make choices. If you are tense already and you're restricted in your body movement, you are limited in the choices you can make. If you are relaxed, you are free in your body. Maybe tension, maybe even it might even be the choice that you make to bring into your body, but it's a choice that you are making. Okay. And as with all of our kind of acting stuff, with all of our thought processes, with accents, with any kind of movement work, dance, or whatever it is that you're doing, you want to make a choice.